for this opportunity. This is the first time I've done this, but I want to say something. I am actually a Jewish accountant. Have you ever, have you ever heard of one? So, I'm here because I have a beef. I don't like the way that CPAs and accountants are portrayed. You've heard, thank you. You've heard the words boring, number cruncher, bean counter, I hate bean counter, dull, uninteresting, and nothing could be further from the truth. We're fascinating human beings. I've heard the jokes too. How does an accountant practice birth control? He talks about his job to his wife. <laughs> How does someone decide to become an accountant? They realize they don't have enough charisma to be an undertaker. <laughs> Actually, I went into accounting for the wrong reason. A friend of mine told me it was a great way to meet hot chicks. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <sighs> but I'm sure that by the time you're going you're gonna to leave here tonight, you're going to find counting exciting. I love my work. It's fun. It's exciting. You may not believe that, but it's true. The problem is, what do we do about the other 310 million Americans? How do we give them a love of accounting like you're going to have tonight? <laughs> Are you feeling it already? <laughs> fast without my own. The answer to, to convert America to a love of accounting is positive media role models. For example, rea reality shows are really good, right? So how about one called Beat the IRS. We'll have, we'll have 10 beefcake accountants. That could happen. Each one of these accountants is given a sloppy tax return to defend against the IRS. These returns will have lots of errors, the commingled accounts, all that accounting is all. Is it getting exciting? You want to see a tanky again? <laughs> so, the account that gets the lowest bill from the IRS gets immunity. <laughs> and if for some reason there's a refund, the accountant gets to keep the money. <laughs> How about an accounting action movie? <laughs> Life in the balance. <laughs> Did you get that? Did I mention I'm a Jewish accountant? We're going to have a bad guy like Bernie Madoff. He's going to try to steal money from widows and orphans. But before he can do that, the CPA, who is smart, is going to figure out what Bernie is up to and stop it dead in his tracks. In this movie, the accounting, the accountant will be young, good looking, and charismatic, like me. <laughs> oh, did I mention the accountant will get the girl? <laughs> You've got to start the kids young, loving accounting. How about accounting scouts? <laughs> we give merit badges for tin key adding machine dexterity, for helping old ladies to reconcile their checkbooks, <laughs> and a special advanced merit badge for understanding and explaining the alternative minimum tax. <laughs> You know, ever since Disneyland was created, I've dreamed of an accounting theme park. <laughs> Much like the Jungle Cruise, there'd be an exciting trip through the history of accounting. <laughs>
The highlights would include a depiction. I get teary yet thinking about it. A depiction of the creation of double entry bookkeeping. Those of you in accounting know what a big moment that was. The ride would end in beautiful Enron Gardens. In another part of the park, we would have a very scary ride. Pirates of the IRS Service Center, Fresno, California. And for the young kids, there'd be a ride with that song we all know. It's a small deduction after all. It's a small deduction after all. It's a small deduction after all. Okay, okay. You can only hear that so long. <laughs> anyway, after this happens, accounting is going to go viral. You don't believe it? And marvelous, marvelous things will happen to our civilization, our culture. It's going to be great. <laughs> Parents will turn off the television to have family budgeting nights. <laughs> Couples will spend romantic weekends reading new tax legislation. <laughs> Children will beg their parents to visit the CPA Hall of Fame. <laughs> and yes, there could even be a world, dare I say, where there would be more accountants than lawyers. <laughs> but I realize that the ultimate acceptance of our profession will take place when it's glorified, glorified, through popular music. So I present to you, please, please, let's go. I present to you the accounting artist formerly known as Bob, now known as Bad Abacus. <laughs> Costume change, everybody. C-T-A, 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 C-T-A. ICPA. <laughs> Hello, Redwood City. <laughs> Who's in the house tonight? <laughs> Barracuda. Yeah. Bad Abacus is in the house. <laughs> 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 as far as I can go. 